So how much money will Spotify pay me for getting about 5 million streams every month and 21 million streams over the last year? In this video, I'm going to break down the overview of my streams, how many streams I'm getting, look at some of my streams per song. We're going to look at how the revenue is actually affected. There's various things that can affect how much you actually get paid per a million stream. I'm going to show you guys all the payments I've received from Spotify and DistroKid over the last 12 months. And then I'm going to calculate the price that I will make per month in the future and hopefully into the next year. So let's just dive right into Spotify for artists. So as you can see, over the last 12 months, my streams have gone up exponentially, which I'm very happy about. Uh, we have a couple songs, I think, doing over like almost 20,000 streams a day. So if we go to last 24 hours, a couple songs doing 19,000, good amount of songs doing over 10K, a lot of songs doing over 5,000. Um, I've made an entire video explaining how I went from zero to 500,000 monthly listeners, if you want to watch that. And we are currently sitting at 880,000. My goal is to get to a million monthly listeners by the end of the year. I don't know if it'll happen, I hope, but it'd be really cool. It's going to come in the near future, I hope. Yo, real quick, guys, today's video is actually sponsored by Roly and their cool MIDI keyboard called Lumi Keys. Now, this is not like most keyboards. I've actually wanted one of these for the longest time, probably since it came out and I first saw it. I just love how the keys actually light up. Um, I think that's really cool. And it also does a lot more than most MIDI keyboards. You can actually pitch bend each key directly on the keyboard itself, which is really cool. You just have way more control at your fingertips. And these keys aren't lighting up just for show. When you connect to Rolly Studio, they'll have light assisted composition features. My favorite is you can actually have the keys light up in the form of a scale so you know exactly what keys to press. But also connect seamlessly to your DAW with either Bluetooth or USB and it also connects to the Rolly Connect app. If you have any other software or devices from them, it works seamlessly. For me, Lumi Keys has just made making music a little more fun, right? It sparks my creativity. I love looking at it. It's also like one third the size of most MIDI keyboards, so it fits right in my back back when I'm on the go. Definitely check it out. So how is your revenue actually affected, right? Everyone likes to say, oh, Spotify for every million streams, you get $4,000. Well, it's actually different in a lot of different scenarios. So the first thing that can affect your Spotify revenue and how much you get paid per stream is what country you're getting streams from. If all your streams are coming from the United States, your revenue might be close to that $4,000 per stream. If all your revenue is coming from India, those countries just pay out a little bit differently, um, just with the currency and all that. So the country is, plays a big role. So I tend to like to promote to some of the bigger countries and some of the countries that have like a higher currency. Another obvious thing that affects the revenue that you receive from your streams is how much of the streams you actually own. What is your percentage of the streams, right? I, on average, probably own about 35 to 40% of my streams. When I work with another artist, we split it 50-50. When I work with two other artists, we split it 33-33-33. So I only own about, on average, 35 to 40%. That affects a lot. And then the last thing is something called discovery mode. I think discovery mode is available to everyone who has Spotify for artists. Um, but every month, I like to opt all my songs into discovery mode on Spotify for artists because it pushes your songs out to more people, gets it in the Spotify algorithm. Now with this, Spotify does take a chunk of your revenue. So for me, I have found that my average per a million streams revenue is about $2,200. I keep it on the low end just when I'm calculating. I'm not thinking I'm getting more money than I'm actually bringing in. So about $2,200 is what I consider I get for every million streams based on the countries that I have, discovery mode plays a big part, um, and everything else, and the percentage that I own. So on the screen now is every single payment I've received from DistroKid, that's my distributor. So every single payment I've received from DistroKid over, actually it's all the way back since June 24th of 2020. So I received $62 in June of 2020. Um, looks like I had mostly just like $50 months um, looks like in December of 2021, I got a hundred dollars, um, June of 2022 got 350. Um, okay. So now towards the end of 2022 is when I actually started to like start putting out music consistently and really releasing. So let's see how the numbers change. So looks like we had a couple of $200 months July was 500, August was 650, September was seven. And then my most recent one, December was 2,164. Now. That 2,164 is probably getting paid out from my September stream. So if we do my calculation of $2,200 for every million streams, and so let's do that real quick. So for every $2,200, for every million streams, I get $2,200. I bet 2,200 times two. So that's two million streams plus 1,100 equals 5,500. If I multiply that by 0 0.40, that's about $2,200. Now. So let's go to September 
and let's see how many streams I was actually getting in September. I bet it's around that 2,500,000 2, range, that 2.5 million range. So if I go to custom, scroll to September and do the month of September. Yep, about 2.5 2 million streams. Um, so the stores are always on a two month delay to pay out your distributor. So that's what I got for September getting 2.5 million streams. So for the last 28 days or about the last month, I've got about 5 million streams. So we can do our same calculation to figure out how much I'll earn from that 5 million. That would be 2,200 times five. And then we multiply that by 0 0.40. So in like probably two or three months from now, I'll get $4,400 for those 5 million streams. Now I got 21 million streams for the entire year. 21 times 2,200. 46,000 times 0 0.40. So that's about what I'll make this year. Now, if we calculate my, let's say, okay, so yesterday I got 2,000 or 205,000 streams, right? In one day. Um, so if I was to maintain this pace of 5 million a year, what do we say? I make about 4,400, multiply that by 12. I'll make an additional $52,000 next year. Uh, so that's how much Spotify pays. That's how much, that's how I calculate it. Like I said, if you do, want to just see how my strategy for growing on Spotify as a producer. Um, I have a video for that, but hopefully this clears up how I calculate my Spotify revenue and how Spotify actually pays out. Um, if you had any questions about that, hope this helps. Let me know what you guys want to see next. I'm down to talk about anything, give you guys some advice, um, ask some questions in the comments and yeah, hopefully this helped. Peace.